Welcome back to Gruber Motor Company. I'm Pete Gruber, and today we're talking about the future of fleet vehicles. From driverless, full self-driving Teslas being summoned for cab service in major cities, to city buses in Tel Aviv, Sweden, and Detroit being powered by charging systems built into the roadways, the future of fleet vehicles where tech and tradition collide is happening at a rapidly increasing rate. Today, we'll take a look at what fleet vehicles are, what they will look like in the future, and just how all of this will impact you and the way you commute. Want to see the potential of EV and the future of transportation? Well, then stay tuned. Let's start with exactly what is a fleet vehicle. To put it simply, fleet vehicles are vehicles owned by a business and used for business purposes. Whether used as company vehicles for employees or used as rental cars for customers or delivery vehicles like postal services, Amazon, UPS, FedEx, fleet vehicles have limitless variety of uses. Fleet vehicles make up the majority of public transportation from police cars and ambulances to the city buses we mentioned earlier. And some of the more famous examples of fleet vehicles can be seen in Hollywood film depicting the iconic yellow taxis of New York City. So, since we are in the midst of a transportation disruption, migrating from internal combustion engine vehicles to electric vehicles, what it takes to keep these fleets running is also going through many changes. Fleet vehicle service is usually provided by fleet owners like municipalities, well-versed in matured processes in ICE vehicle maintenance, and migrating to EVs will require many changes in equipment, retooling, and also new skills will be required from the existing mechanic labor pool. Transportation like public buses, ride-sharing programs, and city and county vehicles for employees and emergency vehicles all require regular oil changes, tune-ups, engine maintenance, none of which apply to electric vehicles. The only commonality between ICE and EV vehicles are tires, brakes, and suspension repairs. So what will the future of these fleets look like when vehicles like Tesla Model Y replace the fleet, which are designed and expected to last up to 1 million miles with much reduced maintenance? When we talk about the future of the auto industry being all EV within the next decade, there are several main objections we receive. The first and most prevalent is the question, how will the grid be able to handle all this demand for electricity? Most people that bring up this issue have read some sensational articles online claiming that if all vehicles were suddenly switched over to EV, the grid would explode in some horrific doomsday, end of the world, apocalypse style event. The good news is that not all cars will instantly become EVs, and many adaptations are being made to the grid as we speak to account for the already impressive influx of EVs hitting the roads. For example, here in Arizona, the Arizona State Corporation Commission this past December approved a comprehensive transportation electrification plan, which will require all public utilities in the state to develop and present electric vehicle proposals every three years to demonstrate how they are handling the change to EV and assisting customers in making the switch from internal combustion engine cars. Another common complaint about switching to EVs is charge time. Most people who are uninformed or uninitiated to EV ownership rely on rumors and horror stories about charging taking over eight hours or vehicles having to be towed from the side of the road due to batteries dying. While this is true in isolated cases, there are a multitude of other options which put these concerns to rest. Supercharging in a Tesla, for example, allows up to 150 miles plus in less than 20 minutes charge time. Also, there are companies working to develop compatible graphene batteries, which will charge from zero to full capacity in less than 10 minutes. Fleet vehicles are generally parked overnight and can easily be plugged into chargers during the night, providing a full charge by morning. New technologies are emerging as well. Another unique solution to charging issues specific to fleet vehicles can be found currently being tested in Sweden and Israel. The company, Electrion, has created a proprietary in-road charging system which allows city buses to charge as they drive down the road. Electrion is partnered with the city of Tel Aviv and Dan Bus Company to do the initial testing of its wireless in-road charging system and has had amazing success. So much so that they have now expanded to testing in Sweden and Germany and will also be coming soon to Detroit here in the United States. 
So we've covered exactly what a fleet vehicle is and what it means to maintain fleet vehicles and how things are changing to prepare for the coming massive adoption of EVs. But how realistic is it to expect fleets to become EVs anytime soon and are companies even considering it? The short answer to these questions is a resounding yes. Companies are always looking for ways to improve the life and length of their investments and fleet vehicles becoming EV provide solutions to both. No more constant oil changes and other costly time-consuming maintenance and much longer operational life of the vehicles are enticing companies in cities and counties all over the nation. A recent example which sent Tesla stock soaring and was news in late October of 2021 that a major rental car company, Hertz, placed an order for 100,000 Teslas, the first of an ambitious plan to electrify its rental car fleet. Combine that news with the steady arrival of numerous Tesla competitors like Lucid, Rivian, Neo, Polestar, and all the others vying for attention and market share, and the fact that many countries, states, and OEMs have all pledged to go completely EV in the next 10 to 15 years. The future of fleet vehicles becoming EV is simply put, an inevitability. Thanks for watching another one of our videos. I'm Pete Gruber. Make sure to watch us on Instagram, Facebook, Patreon, TikTok. We'll see you next time.